there, it's Pat Mossen tonight if you to join me for a brand new episode with Foundation. Let's get time rolling, we'll play Speed 2. And well, I still have to post it with Zoom In in capitals on my screen. So I thought we'd start off with a zoomed in screen of our Lord Manor. And it's fun, you can see the church in the background and a whole other part of the village. We can see a lot of people walking. If we zoom out we can see that they are still trying to build a tavern. Which is going to take time, but that's fun. And when we completely zoom out, we can see everything that we have. Our pretty big town. We've got two new villagers. Let's see. Do we have to provide them with a job? And can we give them a job? We can get a market tender. We can get a transporter. We could get a cook. Well, let's start off with a transporter, I guess. Let's go to this warehouse, see what they can get. Ooh, that's good. That's already filled in, so that's nice. That's in this area for all the... Um, industries that we have here so very good that we have a uh, warehouse now so that they can start to collect stuff we are building this market square and soon hopefully yeah there comes a house we get some housing there so the people that start working here can also live there now we're in a patch of bad weather which means that some of the food that we produce will slowly start to go away because well we're just using it all up Hopefully the bad weather goes away before we run out of berries. I think so, but you never know. We have sent out soldiers to help the king. Probably most of them. Let's check them out. Ooh, we have four wounded, so let's bring them back. I'm not going to keep them out there because we don't want them to get killed. Now, what are we all producing? Well, we are producing wine and we have quite a bit of that. We are producing honey. We're not producing herbs, but we will do that later. Ah, the iron smelter is done. So, industry here can really start to work soon, I hope. And let's keep it up like this. Now, one of the things mentioned to me was, well, you should work on things like beautification and fencing, etc. And I think that is a good one. What I want to do is wait until these are done. And then set up new fields, because as you can see, this one is already occupied by a building. Same here. So we'll have to rearrange the fields a bit. And then I'm going to fence them, so that people can't walk past them anymore. At least that's what I hope. And hopefully that'll work to get nice looking fields. Now, of course, I want them to harvest first before they do anything else. So we'll wait until it's harvesting season and everything is gone. Then we'll paint the new fields and try and work on some fencing. Oh, our bailiff is back. Let's just send him out on a mission. Don't really care which one. Just hate it when the message stays there all the time. And perhaps it's also time to do a little beautification in town. Now we've been working right here already on some signs and some other stuff with the marketplace. We've placed some benches. But perhaps in other places we can do a little beautification as well. I also want to start expanding this one, the monastery. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Let's check first if everything has a meaning already. So yeah, Abbey A, they're all dorms. That's fine. We have no spaces that don't have occupancy, so that's good. And then soon, once the trees are gone, we can expand the monastery like this, make it a... Well, Nice, lovely, big building, because that's what I like. Alright, let's see, because here comes the um, tavern, and I think, yeah, there's a trip location. Oh, that's nice. Well, we'll have to wait and see until it's done, and we can put it to good use. We can already put in a cook, though, that will use up boar cheese and prepare a meal. Now, we don't have boar yet, so that might be a thing get a few hunters going and to start working on boar. But for now, let's get someone in the smelter and let's get someone in the blacksmith so that they can start to produce some goods. At the same time, we can see that the charcoal burner is done. So, we can put a few people in there later on to help out with that. This is still a work in progress. This all looks good. So there's not too much to worry about. Things look nice. 
I think, yep, yeah, they're going to start the harvest now, so not too long from now. We can change these fields and put some fencing around it. It'll be fun. I guess they're all not there. Ah, there they are starting the harvest. Perfect. So I'm going to keep my eye on it for a little while, so not to forget that we were going to rearrange the fields. In the meantime, we can zoom in a bit. We can see them really harvesting. We can see the uh, cows walking around here for the uh, milking. And then for cheese. Well, that's looking very nice. I really like the grass and what they did with that and how that works. Ooh, we can see the cow almost moving into the field. There's another reason to get a fence. Now, of course, it doesn't really eat the grain, but I think it'll be fun to pretend they do and then do something about it. All right, still two wounded soldiers. Is this a extremely difficult mission? So, yeah, no, my soldiers are not going on an extremely difficult mission right now. Or maybe soon we can... Um, Promote a few and we can get stronger and perhaps then we can go on extremely difficult missions. Don't think we can right now. How's this? Ooh, this is coming along nice. Things look okay here. We have a nice marketplace here. Everyone doing their thing, although we don't have herbs yet, so we won't be selling those. But that's the thing we're going to work on later on near the monastery. Here they come, harvesting. Not completely filled up yet, so... They're not putting the grain in there, they're putting... the grain up somewhere, of course. I just... don't really know where they put up the grain. There's cheese, ah, there's the wheat. Alright, then we're completely filled up with bread, so we have everything that we need. So perhaps we could even say, well, just quit the harvest, I don't care. But usually when you start changing out a field, the rest goes to waste, and that's not what we want. So we'll put it on speed 3 for a little while. See if they can hurry up. Alright, everybody is fully trained, so let's see. This is an easy mission. I'll prepare my troops right away. And, well, prepare the troops... Send them all out. Come on, let's go. All right, a well is built. We got four extra villagers in. That's very good. Let's assign them to the smelter, the blacksmith, one more in the transporter area, and one more charcoal burner. We can fill out the rest of those jobs later. We don't really need them at the moment. This one's almost full. This one is not so much. Storage is full. Yeah, of course it is. Plenty of planks, but that's fine. Don't really care. We do want all the planks that we can get, so that's nice. Ooh, this is cool. Because one of the parts seems to be done. Yeah. Stone extension, stone extension. Here we are. We have a cook and we have a stone hole. Well, I think we should make this the uh, service counter, I guess. Needs a bartender and it will sell some wine because we have wine. So we can get a bartender now. That'll be nice. We have to wait until the rest is done, of course, but at least we can sell some stuff now. Yeah, this one's completely filled up, so I don't think it'll. I mean, and it's resting, so. Alright, let's set up a good field. Good sized field. I guess this is good, like this. Let's do this one as well. Let's paint the crop field. Let's make it slightly bigger. Cut this area off, because there's, that's where the sheep are. And... Well, perhaps we can do it like this. Now, I'm not going to build the fence around it right now. I'm going to wait until they've sown it, and then I'm going to put the fence around it, because then I can really easily see how it works, although we could already place some fencing there, that's fine, but... Ooh, the common works where the warehouse workshop is completely built. So we've got the extension, which makes it cheaper to produce common wares, that's very nice. And we still have to build a hunter, I believe. Yep. I believe it needs to be placed in a forested area. 
where it can hunt boar. So we'll have to find a good place where trees are and where we don't remove them. So that it can really hunt some animals. Perhaps somewhere here? I guess. Let's just wait a second because we have an envoy requesting an audience and we can do promotions. Let's do those first. 20 fish! Yeah, I don't really care who gets it. We'll help the people. So, deliver 20 fish to the laborers. Let's do so. Bye bye. Promotions. There we go. Do we have any soldiers that we can promote? A novice. Yes. It's free, so that's good. Anyone else that we can promote? Or soldiers or whatever? Doesn't appear to be so. No. Alright. Well, we have 30 citizens, 60 commoners, and 130 serfs. I want to get to 150 serfs, so we'll do 20 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, that should do the trick. Yep, that's it. That's enough promotions for today. There we go. Well, that all worked out. Ah, they're sewing again. Perfectly well. So let's start working on a little fencing. Wooden wall. Well, I don't really want a wooden wall, I guess. We could do a stone wall, or we can do some decorative fencing, I guess. Let's try that. Alright. Well, here we go. Let's turn it around. I guess we have to reshape the path a little bit. We'll just build around it, that'll be nice. And with the farm open, you can really see all the edges, so that'll be good. Alright, we'll do this just in a straight line like this. Perfect. I guess we have to really get around this, because otherwise they can't get to the berries anymore. We're not really using them at the moment, but we will later on. Alright, keep my troops with you. I don't care if any is wounded. We can always get new soldiers. We have no new villagers coming in, so I guess we need to give those two a job. Then we can get new villagers in. But first, let's continue with the fencing. Right, here we go. I think this looks nice. Here we are. Now, we don't have to build a fence around both farms individually. We just build one big fence around all the um, harvested stuff. Or all the farm stuff, so something like this. And now they should no longer be able to uh, get through. Alright, I guess I lost the fence. There we go again. And hopefully soon they won't be able to get past it. Oh, they'll just walk straight through it. Well, perhaps because they were already on their way or something like that. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be fixed. At a certain point now we'll have to check this one. Yeah, I was afraid of this. Let's remove this area. And slightly increase it like this. Oh, well, that's for the best. But they're not even walking there, so that looks good. Perhaps we should build a fence in between here as well, so that they can't just start walking here. That might do the trick. Hopefully this will work in the end. Although people can still get through, but maybe just for now. We'll see. I guess we'll have to complete the fence then, if we started it. So let's keep building it. Around the Lord Manor, so people can still catch that back way, and then we'll put it up something like this. Alright, well, it seems to be working. All we have to do now is wait for the path to go away, and then later on we can uh, also sew on those patches. Well, it's nice. I think it looks good. Alright, well, that that's one where it worked. 
are running out of berries, though. That's an issue. And something we don't want, actually. So I guess we should build a gathering hut right here. Or two. And start gathering some berries. Is it already marked? Yes, it is marked. So we can use it. So I guess we should hurry these two up. And just hope the bad weather will move away quickly. Right. Oh, we already built two more foraging huts, so we can put people in there. There's a lot to be done here, by the way. Happiness is still quite good, especially with the large population that we have right now. I think this marketplace will be quite done, so let's assign resources to it. Berries and bread and fish. No boar, of course. We do want cheese, we want some clothing, we want some common wares, I guess. Alright, let's check my soldiers. Are they still in good health? Four wounded, rest is very good. Oh, let's just charge, let's see. Hopefully they'll all make it, and if not, well, that's fine. Next up we can get a few um, market tenders in. Ah, they're already building the church as well, very good. I'd say things look okay. Although the amount of iron is dropping, so we need to keep an eye on that and put those extra people into the iron business. We already set up all the factories right here, so we just need to uh, make sure that they can all function. We do have plenty of coal for the moment, so that's not an issue. They're already harvesting again right here. I don't see people walking through anymore, so that works. So thanks for the tip, by the way. It's really helping. Let's just hope we can get some extra people in then. Now, at the same time, let's check the tavern, because, yeah, it's pretty much done. Not completely, but we're getting there. Stone extension. This should be a public lounge, I guess, so we can get some extra capacity. Perhaps we can get a service counter at a certain point and get some beer, but we don't produce beer at the moment, so we'll have to do that later on. So perhaps if we do another service counter and sell some wine, we can just sell a lot of wine. Let's make this a public lounge. So we'll have two public lounges where they serve wine. Yeah, it's looking fine. I wonder if the hunter's hut's already done. Ah, better days are coming. What a relief. Well, we got lucky. Stopped in time. We really need to start taking care of... um. The people that live right here, I guess. So I'm going to do this manually. I'm going to get to this one. I'm going to put people into the berry hut and the clothing hut. Because those two are very important. Because they're basic resources that people need. So let's start selling those around here for the people. I think that's for the best. Hopefully that will help them get more happy. Because from here they have to walk too far to get to food. So they'll be pissed. Hopefully this helps. I really like the fact that we fenced this. It looks cool. And it works, so... Perhaps I should have done that a little bit earlier. This looks nice as well. Getting more and more clear, so hopefully we can uh, add some structures to it. Oyster Center, Oyster Center B. I wonder what we've been building all the time. What are all these parts? Yeah, they're all dorms, cloister centers. Yeah, they're just normal cloister centers. So we're going to build those. Alright. Let's get rid of this, by the way. So, let's get to the cloister center. Let's put it in the right area. Now, we built three right here. So we'll build three on this side. Then we get a corner piece. Alright, well, let's start off with that. Let's build this. We shouldn't be doing too much big projects anymore because we are building houses all over town and stuff like that. So I guess it's better if we um dose it a little bit so that we don't make too many things. Alright, your soldiers were victorious. Let's hope they all survived. Yeah, they did. You wounded. Some got better at what they do. That's nice. They should be bringing in a nice prize as well. Let's hope they get better. 
a well, get well soon, and then we can send them out on a mission again. I guess basically what we need is a lot of people coming in. And happiness is good, immigration incentive is high, so there should be people coming in. Ah, the tavern is completely done now. Perfect. So I guess we still have yeah, stone extension B. We'll make this a public lounge as well so extra people can get in. And hopefully soon we get free people to actually put in because that's quite important. <laughs> Look at this farm area. It's pretty big. Our soldiers came back, they brought a thousand coins, some bread, some iron, some tools. Oh, that's nice. I like it that way. Let's take a look at the numbers. Are the numbers still good? They are still okay, but we could do better. Ooh, happiness is falling. Now, of course, with a lot of villagers and a very big town, happiness goes down every now and then because people will have to walk a bit to get a drink. That's okay though, I'm not really worried about it. For now I'm basically want to get a bartender and two more foragers. Make sure that we fill out those berries again. And after that we can do other stuff. The healing goes pretty quickly now by the way, thanks to the herb field or what the medicinal garden peats. Are they selling some stuff here? Yes, they are. That's that's very good, actually. Only problem is they don't have any good resources nearby, so we desperately need a granary here. But that will provide all the stuff that they need here. So we're going to build a granary. I'm going to speed it up. And then we put in berries and bread, etc. So that all the stuff that they need right here, they don't have to walk too far from it. I'm going to do the same thing with a warehouse. We're going to build a warehouse somewhere here. That doesn't really matter, but it will... It doesn't interfere with the housing. But that means that we can put the clothing in here, etc. that they need. So that they don't have to walk too far to actually collect some and then bring it back and then already be sold out again. That might help as well. So that's always a good thing. Just build a granary close, put in the different types of food that you have and that you serve right here, and that'll help them out. As you can see water and food are the two things that impact happiness the most at the moment. So we really need to get that going there. Ooh, this looks cool. Well, it was up to me. I would say that this little path is already fading a little bit. Sure hope so. That will work out. Same time, we still make a lot of money, which is very nice. And perhaps that gives us the opportunity to start working on a herb garden. Although I have no clue how it actually works. So we'll just have to put it down and then see how it works. We can basically just build it right here and that's it and we'll see. I think I'm going to turn it a little bit. Let's do it like this. Built. I want a herb garden. Let's get those herbs. 93%. Still very high incentive, so that's good. No access to service. What service do you need? That's the question. Service. Well, you can visit the church, or is it full? No, there's no attendance, so... get into the church. I'm on free time. Well, spend your free time going to church. That'll work. Promotions are available. Alright, let's see. Should we be promoting? Not 100% sure. I don't think so. I think we should only seek out if we can... Yeah, we can promote someone to soldier, which makes them stronger. But that's about it. We don't need any other stuff going on at the moment. We can't do any other soldiers, so this is fine. That's enough for now. I've made the mistakes a few times where you just keep promoting people and they all demand stuff 
And that's just not good. You can't keep them all happy, so don't promote everyone. Alright, what do they want? 20 fish for the king. That's fine. Deliver 20 fish to the king. Are my soldiers healed? No, three more are still wounded, so I'm not going to send out soldiers. Still no free people coming in. That's too bad. Ah, there they are. Three villagers. Perfect. Well, I'm going to make them market tenders so that they can sell stuff right here. It'll be for the best. Provide all the people here with what they need. They're also building the church, which is good. That's what we want to see, so that they have the services there as well. Still, the amount of iron bars is still dropping slowly, because we need a lot to make a common wares, etc. And all those different things. We do have a good surplus in common wares, so everybody should be pretty happy. We'll just keep it up like this. Military missions available. Well, those are quite a few missions available. I guess we'll have to keep a close eye on all everyone that's training. We can see that a few of them are very strong already. A knight, level 15. Strength, 42. So perhaps we can just send them out on an easy mission. And send out five of our troops. One, two, three, four... Five. We'll send out strong troops on a mission. And when the others are healed, maybe we can send them out on a mission as well. That'll be nice. I think I want to close up this keep somewhat. So let's edit it. Let's make a little gate here. I think that's nice. Something like this. And should be building a few more extensions right this way. Well, that's going underground. That's not really supposed to happen, I guess. Well, perhaps we can do it something. We can just build this way. That could work. Do it something like this and then close up the space. That might be it. We'll do it like this. One, two, three. Let's check. Let's close it up. Almost. So we're going to move... Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. Let's raise this a little bit. Let's raise this one as well. Alright. I guess I want to move the whole thing in one piece. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Come. Attach. Yes. No. I want to move the whole piece. So, this is not what I want. Yeah, like this. Right. Right, let's place this one right there. We need to raise this one a bit. We can lower this one. And then we can add a third. Let's raise it, and let's see, does it fit now? Almost, it's fine. We'll just keep it like that. At least then it'll be a closed off area, that's kinda nice. It'll be something like a fortress. Alright, let's check stuff. Berries are growing, not too fast, but the number is growing, so that's working. We have only one wounded soldier left, so as soon as that one is done, we can send them out. Our granary is being built. Church is coming along. We have three villagers awaiting a job. Let's give them a job. Let's get one. Alright, we already filled all the other jobs. So let's get a charcoal burner and another bar tender and a market tender. Alright, that's it. A herbalist. Well, I think the herbalist's office is done, yes. So, we need to assign two herbalists to it. And we have to paint crop field. Oh, that's the crops. I don't think we need to paint a crop field for the herbalist, but I'm not sure. 
doesn't say so. So we'll just need to concede two villagers to the monastery. So we'll have to wait until we have new villagers. Then we can concede two more villagers to the monastery. That might work. Ooh, there's the granary. Perfect. Let's get berries. We want bread. Yeah, we want fish. And we want some cheese. All we need now is one transporter to start bringing those in. And then all these people don't have to work walk that far anymore. This one is also done, so let's bring in clothing. Something we're going to sell there. Let's bring in common wares. Let's bring in candles. And perhaps jewelry or something like that. For now. I guess that's it. Well, I think it's working because we have these all occupied now. And this number is holding steady now at 94. So I guess it's working. We need now two more people, and then we can fill out those jobs in the transport business. Your bailiff is back. Yeah, that's fine. Let's send him out again, just for the fun of it. All right, people should be coming in soon if they are actually coming, but we're going to save that for next episode because it's been half an hour. So we've been continuing our adventure with the town, maybe not do as much as I wanted to, but at least we created a fence, we got the tavern done, we are working on the monastery again, which is nice, we're trying to expand it, and we already got the um, uh, herbalist now, ooh, keep my troops with you, it's fine, some people lack the access to services, but I think that's not always true, because they can go to church, so don't worry about it, this part of town is coming slowly together, so that's cool, so yeah, things are running Okay, and we'll just see in the next episode what we can do further on. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. And of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.